Good morning, I'm Amy Oliveria with KLM Properties, located at 1533 Mile Ground Road. But today, I'm not at the office. I'm at the live renovation here in Morgantown. I'm glad that you're able to join me. Today's a big day here at the renovation. It is countertop installation. Uh, the cabinets are actually not 100% ready, but we've had a huge change. They have actually started to be painted. They're working on them right now, so we're gonna be able to see that. But Bad Lizard Granite is here right now. They are outside getting ready to bring in the first portion of the granite and install it. I didn't want you all to miss out on this exciting day. At least it's exciting to me. So I'm going to turn the camera around and we're going to take a look at what's going on on the Bad Lizard Granite truck as they're getting ready to bring in our granite. Here's the kitchen. You can see they've actually started to paint. And here comes the granite. really going to come together well. The cabinets have cleaned up beautifully. Uh, the black paint looks so sharp. This granite is going to look really good on these cabinets too. And the color of our granite was white alpha. So the first step they're going to lay it down on these tool, put it down on these toolboxes, then they're going to lift it up. Here it goes. What are, what's going to happen next, Jared? Well, we're going to take this brace off of there. Okay. And then uh, we'll get this other piece in. And then we'll uh, mount the sink, cut backsplash, and then clean and seal. Awesome. Now, the sink we have here, I did choose the one large Travajo. Travajo. So it's just this single bowl sink because I think people really like a large kitchen sink these That's days. That's the same one I went with. <laughs> well, I like it. I regret I didn't do that you on get, my You can get big pots and pans and cookie sheets in there. Well, that'll be great. So while they're taking off the brace and getting ready to bring in the next one, I want to swing it around and take a look at what's going on with our cabinet. So, oh, wrong way, sorry. <laughs> okay. So here are the actual drawers. You can see that the paint makes them look brand spanking new. I love the contrast of the black paint with the color of the inside. Mm -hmm. Here are the doors. What have you all been doing on these doors in here? Cleaning. So what are you cleaning them with? Uh, what are we doing? Mr. Clean. Mr. Clean. Yeah. So now Mr. Clean really has shined him up. Yep. He does yep. work wonders in the kitchen. <laughs> well, this is about what, how many times? Five or six? Yeah. yeah. Five or six, Mr. Clean did. Now, Brian, what's your process for painting the cabinets? Well, cleaning them is the biggest thing. They need to be completely, completely clean, or the paint will separate off any grease or oil or anything that's on the cabinet. So clean, 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 clean. And then uh, we, we have a very fine grit sandpaper and we're going to lightly sand the holes you can see where it's kind of, we just took enough finish off that we know the nail hole was actually flush with the cabinet top. So next is we've got us some really good body putty. Uh, it's really nice because it gets hard quick. You can sand it, there's, you can put multiple coats in a little, you know, less time. Body putty's like six hours to dry, this is 15 minutes. Okay, and then, and, then and then paint. And this one I painted half a bit, and it's just to see how well the paint would stick, and it's a really nice finish. I mean, it's, it's beautiful. It's going to be great. You know? Yeah, I really like it. I mean, what a difference it made on the outside edges of the cabinets that were already in the kitchen. It looks yeah. perfect. Yeah, and these are really good doors. I mean, they're three quarter inch, so they're real wood. Uh, so. I'm really thrilled with the way they're turning out. I mean, when, when I found these cabinets at the ReStore, I knew that it was from a, a nice large kitchen. It was just what we would need. Um, believe it or not, I actually bought the kitchen cabinets before we bought the house. 
<laughs> it was the day that I found these cabinets at the ReStore. I'd been looking for a good set of kitchen cabinets there. I'd been going regularly for several weeks because we were getting ready to wrap up one renovation project and be ready to move on to the next one. When these cabinets came in, I knew it would be a perfect fit for a renovation project. So I purchased the cabinets, went to the parking lot, looked online to see what houses were available in the price range I needed to complete a renovation <laughs> after I bought the cabinets. It was that day in the parking lot that I found the listing for this home, came out to it, and uh, I'll save that story for another day, but I had a unique experience. So uh, let's take one more look at what uh, is happening here in the kitchen with the granite and call it a day. So what is, what is this that you're doing right now? This is where our dishwasher is going to go. What are you putting in here? This is just a, um, a universal mounting bracket for the dishwasher. Okay. And what this allows us to do is it actually gets the fourth piece of uh, panel here. Now will that stay once the granite is in? or Yes. Do you... Okay, all the way until the, well actually it will be there forever. Yes. Okay, and so then the dishwasher will slide straight in there. Yep. That'll be nice. And it, like I said, it, when we go to put this grain up there, it's a lot of weight. So when we go to slide it across, it, it can move this panel. And we're putting this in before just to hold that panel in place. Most dishwashers now are actually side mountable. But uh, I believe he said that the dishwasher's top mount. Okay, so once you've Put the is it epoxy that you use to glue the granite down to the countertops? We actually use silicone. Silicone. And you'll cut a backsplash here on the property? Yes. On site? Yes. We cut that. Well, since it's raining or snowing today, we'll, we'll cut in the back of the truck. Yeah. Normally we have a table and we just set it up outside on the face or something. Okay. No. So in this kitchen, once the granite countertops are in, the backsplash is going to be a four inch backsplash that matches the granite of the counters. Of course, it's the same, came from the same slab that I picked out down at their site. And uh, then we'll take some pictures and I'll post the pictures of what the granite looks like inside. This is a great day for me here. It's been a, a long time coming. We are about four weeks out. I mentioned before that our goal had been April 15th. But due to having to replace so much more of the drywall that we found due to some uh, damaged drywall in the ceilings in the kitchen and actually also adding drywall down into the stairwell and rebuilding the stairs, things have just taken a little bit longer. So instead of one week out from being complete, we're about four weeks out from being complete. But things are really moving along now and we'll start to see more changes every day. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you have a great weekend. Thank you.